how can we trust localizers to do a good job localizing the intellectual property when they don't even like their job or the community or the fans yes hero nobody can do their job properly if they don't like their job or the community that they're in that is very very logical and only a little egghead like you would be able <laughs> really really this is this is who i'm taking seriously this is who you people want to take seriously really okay so cali boy hero hey being the cali boy that he is pretending to operate on facts and logics go ahead go ahead do the opposite he goes ahead and and what do you know it he doesn't operate on facts and logic he goes to the leftist sjw cali boy font and he operates with fifis of course of course see this is a disturbing trend that i'm starting to see with all these people that claim to be about the facts and the logics and being badasses or whatever they're the ones that pull out the morality card when they're proven to be fucking idiots they're the ones that pull out the feelings card and the you went too fars and the but but my feelings bullshit at the end of the day this is what i'm talking about fake uh you know anti-SJWs like Hero Hey, which we're about to delve into this video in itself, and I gotta say, the another fucking torturous 12-minute dragged-on video, uh, Hero Hey basically going ahead, and he's, oh god, it's, it's shit, man, it's fucking shit, just to kind of like, you know, first 10 seconds of the video, to give you an idea of what we're working with, is Hero Hey's logic is, nobody can do <laughs> their job properly if they don't like their job, or the community that they're in, or what they're passionate about. That's fucking retarded. Like, I fucking know a bunch of people that don't like working in, like, the fast food industry, yet they do it, and yet they do an okay job at it, or, you know, like, what kind of fucking logic is that? Like, you really think everybody that does their fucking job actually gives a shit. Like, I hate this whole, I understand that it's for making money, and it helps people make more money by pretending to care right because hero hey is basically saying you need to care about the fans it's for the fans which is really fucking gay because nobody really actually cares that much really um and this whole misconception is just to try to get people to get their fifis in a bunch and give you more money essentially just get the sympathy points uh basically because you know emotion is a very powerful weapon when you know how to use it as been shown by a lot of people, most notably, by the way, big corporations do this all the fucking time with Black Lives Matter. So I don't understand why people find it so hard to believe that most of the people that pretend to care about you online, you know, the entertainers like Hero Hey, don't actually give a fucking shit about you because he literally makes you spend 30 to $50 from what I believe to speak to him. Hey, guess what? I didn't have to pay that much money and... Wait, actually, I didn't have to pay any money at all to talk to him for six hours. I just needed to catch him in all his fucking lies and tell him, Hey, bro, I might tell people what you said about this, this, and this. And then he was like, Oh, oh let's be friends. Oh. So yeah, if you ever want a reason to talk, for, for whatever fucking reason, you want to talk to Hero Hey, just catch him in like a couple of the lies. He might need to smear you a little bit, might need to call you a racist at a convention because you took his girl. But yeah, if you can bear through all that... Uh, you can talk to Lee for several hours, and it won't cost you a dime. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, now that you got the intro out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and delve into this fucking terrible video <sighs> by Pokey Lee himself, and it's titled "Leaked Discord Chat: How Loki Shows <laughs> How Localizers Really Despise the People They Are Supposed to Work For." I don't know. It's weird. All I know is that this isn't very heroic, and this isn't very capitalistic of you, hero. Hey. But, uh, anyway, everybody sit back, relax, watch me torture myself by watching this terrible fucking video for your entertainment. And if you'd like to go ahead, request your own video, there's a Patreon link you could go ahead, give me fucking $10, and I'll watch a 30-minute horrible video of your choosing. It could be Hero Hey, it could be any other BLM propaganda, I don't care. I will give it my best critiques. But again, that out of the way. Sit back, relax, all that corporate bullshit, uh, key leafy shit that I copy, uh, and let's play this amazing fucking video. Oh god, help me. Pa 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 pa. Play it. If you don't know what Manga Gamer is from Wikipedia, Manga Gamer is a video game publisher specializing in the English localization and distribution of Japanese visual novels. Oh my god. Okay, so here's the thing <laughs> the guy is so shit. 
he doesn't even understand the community he is. That's he think he doesn't understand the community he's in. Sorry, I just my brain is scrambled a little bit because this is like grifting 101. Okay, look, the irony in all this shit too. Hero Hey, first 10 seconds complaining about how, well, if you don't understand or respect the community you're in, how are you supposed to be trusted? Ha <laughs> ha. Dude, you don't know shit about the community you you claim to be in, or arbitrarily, because little secret about Hero Hey that he wouldn't let me share because uh, he said that if I recorded any of our combo that he would try to sue me or whatever. So, fun fact about Hero, he doesn't like being called a Ruby YouTuber, but he wants to be called a news channel. And then apparently, like, he wanted to be called an anime channel, but now he doesn't want to be called an anime channel, he went back to, I just want to be a news channel. You're a fucking terrible news channel. You're a shitty journalist. You're about as good as CNN when it comes to getting the facts. And you fucking have to use Wikipedia. I thought it was bad with Reddit and Twitter. I thought you were hitting low levels of shit when you were using those two as your sources. But now you're fucking using Wikipedia to get basic fucking information. Because here's, let's be real, guys. If this dude was actually in the anime community that he claims to represent, the anime portion that Vic Mignogna was a part of, or that Vic Mignogna represented, he would know what manga gamer is off the fucking back of his head. But of course, Hiro Hei's a liar, a grifter, fake as fuck. And he doesn't know. So he needs to go to one of his reliable sources. And what do you know it? Most reliable place ever. Wikipedia. Because people can't edit Wikipedia at all. I, I really... I just... I don't understand, guys. I don't understand why this thing is supposed to be taken seriously. I can understand why he doesn't want to debate. Because he's fucking garbage. And even with ad hominems, I would make him cry. Logic-wise, because Hero operates on feelings, as we've already seen for the first 10 seconds of this video. It is run by Japanese-based company Japan Animation Contents. In this video, we are going over leaks from the Manga Gamer official Discord server from the staff, off-topic staff channel, Locked. This got leaked. I don't know who leaked it. Doesn't look good for Manga Gamer, however. That said, these leaks are nothing too terrible i'm gonna be honest it's not the worst thing in the world however some of uh what they're saying in there very tacky very unprofessional okay this is another thing i don't get right hero hey is shitty at journalism we've covered that how shitty he's not on like he doesn't he doesn't even stop to think for a second that these leaks might be fake here's the thing 411 for all you brilliant people out there things can be faked on discord very easily so easily even an idiot like me can do it so i don't understand why hero hey is running with this shit where it's like oh i got some shady screenshots ha ha these must be fucking real i don't I, I don't know if it's because he's an incompetent journalist quote unquote oh my god i'm using that term very lightly or it's just because he wants to try to push a narrative but i love how to be on the safe side hero's like whoa it's not so bad ho oh, it's just bad enough for you to make a shitty video on right where you're milking the fuck out of it you're gonna go ahead and spread false propaganda like you always do you fucking lefty cali boy soy boy cuck ron toye son 2.0 right you're gonna go ahead and run with this and you're gonna go ahead and try to make it a big deal then you're gonna insert mafifis and be like oh my god because you don't have feelings oh my god that means you can't be smart when it comes to business uh -huh. that's hero right there. that's typical cali boy fucking language right there and i fucking hate it coming from him especially and the reason i freaking hate it coming from him is because he's such a pretentious liar he's such a fucking fake Right? I knew there was a reason I didn't fucking like Sleuth. It was all the repressed anger that I held for Hero Hey. And then I saw it in Sleuth and I'm like, Sleuth is just the worst version of fucking Hero Hey. Really. That's all it was. Cause Sleuth was shit, but Hero's a fucking weasel that covers under emotion. So he tries to make you feel bad for him. Well, you could tell the tone in his fucking voice is all over the place. The guy has no backbone or conviction behind anything he says. He's just a fucking mess. So, yeah, Hero, you're, you're just, you're so full of shit, man. You're such a fucking liar. You're such a sneaky little snake, and I just can't. I just, I can't. It just, sometimes I, sometimes Hero Hay's the reason I want to leave the anime community. He's so fucking trash. 
And it shows that they don't like their uh, the people that they're working for. And I don't mean the people employing them. I mean the fans, the people that they're actually working for. It seems like they don't like those people at all. Before I go any more into this video, I just want to say that Hero's trying to push the propaganda that if you don't like your fans or you don't like the fan base that comes with it, you're a bad person. I think it's fucking retarded, especially coming from him of all people. I think it's very, very funny. <laughs> very funny that he's that he can say this shit with a straight face. Again, Hero, we spent a good six hours on the phone, man. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I can kind of see why you didn't want that audio leaked now, right? Oh, huh, you should look at California's two-party content. Oh, shut the fuck up, hero. You're a bitch, man. Well, let's take a look. Here is the alleged staff members. Just further proof, it's easy to fake stuff on Discord, so it's always good to see the actual tag so you can compare it to the actual tag. So the problem with this statement, here's Hero saying, oh, well, uh, you know, I'm acknowledging that this could be faked, oh, but I'm going ahead and I'm running with it anyway. See, fun fact, another thing that can be faked is the actual tag names. So if you pay for Nitro, uh, apparently you can now change your number. So I don't know how legit that is, that statement in itself is. We already know that Discord lets you change your name to whatever you want, anytime you want, which is why there's so many ops and so many good fakers out there. But I also love the journalism behind Hero as he takes the cropped out screenshots, the shady screenshot, and not even the fucking, like, video evidence. Just, just pure, pure screenshots. Uh, and you know, a little cropped out BS, and he's running with it, he's running with it. Very cute, very cute. Terrible does show that they um they're very smug staff these localizers and um you know here's the thing too let's keep in mind this is only one set of leaks we don't know what all they've been saying maybe they said worse things in the past yes guys remember being a smug person automatically means you're evil and that you can't do your job right remember that this is what I mean by the Cali boy mindset and the whole fake anti-SJW mindset. If you want to fucking claim to be an anti-SJW and abide by the code that you guys put off for whatever fucking reason, be fucking consistent, you dipshit. You go ahead and you try to make fun of the people that are acting just like you right now and that would nitpick at every chance. Because, Hero, let's be honest. On Twitter, you're quite smug yourself, you fucking retard. You reject. You are quite the smug person, too. And you're a fucking con man. So, why is it okay when you fucking do it? And why is it, why is it that you try to guilt people and make them feel bad whenever it's them? You nitpick every chance you get at an SJW. But isn't that just what the SJWs do? You are so full of it, man. And the diehard fans of you are so fucking full of it, too. Like, you guys actually believe the shit you preach. You don't see the irony in your actions, but all right. Maybe not as bad. However, when I looked at a few of these people on Twitter, and somehow I'm already magically blocked, that's kind of weird. Why does Hero Hey take so much offense with people blocking him on Twitter? Like, honestly, if I had an annoying weeb like Hero, fake weeb at that, trying to head and fucking snooping at all my bullshit, or whatever, or trying to find any way to misconstrue my words or make me look bad in a fucking video, of course I'd probably block him too, or I'd block him just to be funny about it and see how ass mad he gets. Considering Hero always makes a big deal any time he gets blocked, right, with that smarky, smug, passive-aggressive tone in his voice, right? I, I don't, I don't, like, it can't, do I, need I say more? Need I say more? on how much of a beta this guy is. I don't like using the word beta either. No more than anybody else. I think it's cringe. But god damn it. Like, Hero, you couldn't even get a woman to fuck you while she was drunk in your hotel room. You just pulled your pants down and just waited there. And she did nothing. And then you're like, time to take my shower. Oh. Yeah, that's how much of a beta you fucking are. And yes, I know about these stories. Yeah. Yeah. Eat shit, retard. Just saying. Regardless, when I looked at some of these people on Twitter, the stuff they are retweeting and talking about is very strange. So I have a feeling these people, probably if they were to be looked into a bit, there would be some disturbing stuff dug up. That's just a theory, though. Let's take a look at the leaks. I was in the process of editing this, and I saw this one part in particular, and I think... It's a part worth addressing only because it's so smug and disingenuous. So here's the thing. <sighs> Work with me here, people. And this is a point you won't be able to refute, and nobody will, unless you want to lie. Hirohei just 
tried to call these people, who he doesn't even know if they actually said this, P3 the O's, basically. He implied as much, right? That's the, that's the, oh my god, you're so, Hero, you're so good at, at saying this shit. You should do, you should do ops behind the scenes. Just get a fake account and do ops with all these other people that go ahead and throw this claim out there. Because let's be fucking honest, dude. If these peeps are low-key, as you said, throwing in some weird shit on the Twitters, on the public shit, right? And you're inciting for people to investigate them or whatever. Gosh darn it. That must be some pretty criminal shit right there, Hero, from what you're trying to imply. I love the smugness in this guy, right? Because he got blocked. Think of it this way. Hero, hey, you block him, and he goes ahead and he throws a P3DO accusation at you or at least at the very least implies it now here's what i don't get people that are in the anime community like truly in it like i'm talking truly not fake not grifters like hero hey not talking about grifters that pretend like they're in in there but they actually aren't like there's weird shit all around i see anime memes and that's actually a freaking twitter uh twitter account that that just throws out random freaking memes there's some, okay, weird shit there too, right? Like, there's some shit that I'm like, bro, what, what the fuck is this, <laughs> right? Uh, but I would never go out of my way to say that someone is a P3DO because of that weird shit. Because that's just the fucking community. To say that is the typical black and white outlook uh, that most people that aren't in the community have. Which is fine, they're allowed to have that. Uh, they're allowed to make false uh, P3DO accusations as well. It's just that I find it weird when these false P3DO accusations comes from somebody who claims to be part of that community. And the whole reason that Hero took it, uh, f took it up the butt for this video, uh, or whatever, is because these people don't understand the community they're a part in. Well, it seems like neither do you, bud. Because, like, come on, man. How much of a scumbag... Do you really have to be? Like, why were you mad that NBA was calling you a P3DO then? Or did you learn from him? Because here's the thing, when NBA was calling you that, you got so angry and upset and you started doing damage control. But when you do it to other people, it's okay, right, Hero? Seriously, that is fucking low, dude. That is like the lowest shit you've ever done. Truly, truly. If people didn't like you before... Like, they're definitely not going to like you after this. Thank you for slipping this in, though. And I bet a bunch of people are just going to be like, Oh, it's, it's, it's okay. Hero didn't directly say it. Oh, yeah, because he's too much of a fucking bitch to do it. But the implication was there, right? It's just like when people say, In Minecraft. Like, I mean, granted, I can understand why those people were saying it, right? Because they needed to keep the professional lives intact. But Hero, really? <laughs> oh my god. You're not a lawyer. You're not a lawyer. You don't need to go ahead and keep your, uh, you know, profile squeaky clean. Ho oh, ho. I'm just saying, dude. It's pretty fucking low of you. And it's probably the lowest thing I've ever seen out of you. Especially, again, considering you're conning all these weebs into believing that you're actually a part of their community. But now kind of taking a dump on them. And saying, hey, if you block me, or if you get on my bad side, I'm going to tell people that you're probably P3DOs based on what you tweet and retweet. That's anime related. Good job, buddy. You're doing great. Glad to have a grifter like you in this community. And once again, a reason why I'm probably going to walk out at some point. Anyway, uh, he goes on to say more ridiculous bullshit. But we're already at like 20 minutes in this video. I think I've made my point on how shit he is. Uh, might go over the rest, but it's mostly him just rambling on, ranting, being unsure of himself reading a bunch of fucking smug mean dialogue i guess from people that are doing their jobs because that's wrong and you shouldn't do that because you're not allowed to have emotions you're not allowed to say what's really on your mind and you know if you don't if you don't love your job man if you don't love the people you, you can't do a good job oh. seriously this lefty cali boy propaganda is getting really fucking annoying and again i look forward to seeing the Hero Hey fan base, who's always full of logic to help debunk my claims as to why Hero Hey's estrogen filled logic is uh, superior to mine. So, by all means, get to it. Tell me how I'm a mean person and how I'm a bad person for pointing out the blunt flaws of your hero. Gross.